people. I know several people who are half Chinese and half American and uh, half, for example, Zimbabwe. And and uh, and I've been wondering why am I never asked where I am from or what my background is, whereas uh, these friends or these people who whose uh, international background is more obvious. Personally, being from from Switzerland and Finland, it means that I am at home in Finland, but at the same time, I'm not at home here. And I'm always, or this is my feeling, I know that my sister, for example, might not feel the same way, or my brother. But for me, it has meant that, that it, you're somehow a bit of an outsider, yet you are on the inside. But it's not a negative feeling. It's, I, I say that it's also, it gives a lot of freedom because I don't feel as attached to, let's say, Finland or, or to Switzerland. It's somehow I have always the, I have the chance to say that, well, I'm not, not fully this or I'm not fully that. I'm just something in between. But the meaning of being Finnish is not, it doesn't mean that you look a certain way or you eat certain foods at home or you speak a certain language, but it's, it's much more complicated. I would hope that through this project and through this exhibition, people would look for similarities. So, in a way, that when they see something which is different or hear about things that are different, then instead of sort of saying that or thinking that it's not of me or it doesn't concern me because I am something else, then I would wish that, that people would look for the similarities and try to try to you know somehow get closer closer to each other understand each other through similarities